So let's talk about product launches um, in particular. And uh, so in this workshop, what we want to do is we want to work through the technical aspects of your product launch. And we want to also assume that you've already figured out your product's component. So in other words, uh, this workshop is not going to be about figuring out what you want to put in your product. Uh, just about everybody here, you're probably going to either put together something that's a, a, a video course, maybe you might have an audio course, maybe you're going to have some PDFs, maybe you're going to have some images, but basically I'm going to assume that you want to deliver some kind of information product, right, that you've already figured out what that is, you've already figured out what your niche is, you already figured out what you want to sell, who you want to sell it to, what we want to do is help you to get it ready to sell. We're also going to assume that you already know what you'll be writing as your copy, right? So we've taught that in some other workshops. If you want to, uh, if you if you want to get insight on how to write your copy, um, the easy way, reach out to us. We'll give you access to uh, one of our past trainings on writing copy. And again, um, writing copy does not have to be, I would say, complicated. Um, there are some elements that you need to have. Um, there is a formula that we personally follow that we have been following for, I think, about six years. And uh, we're not necessarily, I wouldn't call us experts at writing copy, but if you follow the formula, right, when you can find that same formula, and those of you who have been on my calls before, um, you know that I suggest that you look at David Fry's 12-point uh, bulletproof sales letter, right? So if you follow that formula, Right, Dave, David Fry's 12-point bulletproof formula, and, let, and as, as a matter of fact, I am just going to do a search for it right here on screen, and uh, just so that you can see it, I'm um, just going to write in David Fry's 12-point, uh, there it is, foolproof sales letter, and there are a number of links to it. Um, you can actually get a PDF that's right here. And you're going to see um, if you start with step one and you go through step two all the way through step 12, you will have a complete sales letter. And even if you are not necessarily all that good at writing copy, if you follow these things and you inject uh, your product and what makes your product unique into this format, you will be able to get people to pay attention. Right? Does that make sense? Is everybody with me on that? So, so, so again, I'm not going to talk a lot about writing copy. I am going to suggest that if you want to get a start on writing copy, um, you can make, you can, you can write a decent sales letter, or you can do a decent sales video if you just follow David Fry's 12-point bulletproof sales letter. All right. So. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up your product launch your upsells, and your email marketing. So let's talk about the order of operations and the order that you need to do things. Um, for the first thing you're going to want to do is to map out and set up your sales and marketing funnel. Um, and so let's talk about what that means. Um, I'm going to open up Warrior Plus here. Okay, so how many of you have set up a sales funnel on Warrior Plus before? Right, if you haven't, uh, this is actually going to be good, and it's going to be instructive for you. Now, you can, you've probably seen uh, all, you've probably seen a number of people set up a funnel on JVZoo. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set one up on Warrior Plus. All right, so here's Warrior Plus, and the very first thing we're going to do is we are going to set up an offer. Right, and so the, the offer is not going to be any specific product. Your offer is just going to uh, kind of give you your statistics all in one place. So when you set up your marketing funnel, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to see all the products in the funnel underneath one title, and your title is going to be your offer. So if you get that, please put the number one in the question box. So in other words, all your products in one funnel are going to be under this offer. So we're going to set up an offer first. So let's say that the offer that we're going to set up is going to be teaching, uh, we're going to call this product, the product launch workshop. All 
Okay, then uh, Warrior Plus asks you for a description. Now this description is going to show up to the other marketers who are considering promoting your product. Right, and it's also going to show up when you actually are trying to recruit affiliates. So you want to have something brief, and you want to have something that doesn't doesn't have to be hypey, but it should get people excited. Right, so you want to say something like, you know, if you if it, let's say it's going to be a, let's say it's going to be a big video course, you want to emphasize that you're going to say 45 module, uh, 45 module, 3.5 hour course. And then you want to talk about the benefit, getting you into profit mode through your own product launch. Right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to need to select a category. And in Warrior Plus, um, they give you a limited number of categories. And here's why the categories are important, because when people get marketplace alerts, they get them based on these categories and the keywords. So you want to make sure you get these things so that they attract the people that you actually want to see it. Right? So if you want people who are going to be interested in, let's say, searching for maybe not video, right? So we don't we don't want necessarily video. We want people, let's say, who are going to be interested in Uh, we'll say we want people who are going to be interested in coaching. We want people who are going to be interested in, let's say we want them to be interested in traffic. And let's say we also want to be interested in, and you get three to pick, we want people who are interested in, let's say, uh, launches launch management, JVs and launch management. Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to pick keywords, right? So we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to get more specific here. And I'm going to write in product launch. Okay, so we get, when we see that, what we need to do is we need to kind of click on the link there. This is going to be a workshop, so we want people um, who might be interested in product creation. Okay, and then we want people who are going to be interested in, let's say, let's say we, we're going to do this about Warrior Plus, launching on Warrior Plus. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get an offer image. This can be the same image that you're going to be using for your uh, for your for your sales page that's typically what I do um, this is going to show up for your affiliates so you want to get an image typically that you have either had professionally made um, that's something that you have outsourced or something that you made up specifically for this offer so I'm just going to go and get a I'm going to get a product image that I have from another product okay so let's just say I'm just going to grab the Camtasia image. Let's see if it shows up here. All right, so I'm just going to grab this image, and I'm going to grab the bundle. All right? Do I want this to be displayed in the marketplace? Typically, I am going to want to, but Warrior Plus is not going to let you do that until you actually finish setting up your product. Right, so once we do that, we're going to click Create. Okay, so now we're on step two. So is everybody clear on what we've done so far? Okay, is everybody clear on what we've done so far? So if you're clear on what we've done so, so far, please put the number uh, one in the question. Okay, great. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start setting up our sales page because Warrior Plus is going to ask us for a sales page. Now, you will not have set up your sales page at this point, so all we're going to do is put a placeholder in here, and we're going to put the actual address that our sales page is going to be. 
right? So how many of you have your own page builder? So hopefully you have your own page builder. I'm going to go into mine in uh, the PLR show, right? Because if I if I'm going to if I'm going to create a sales page, I'm going to do it in my own domain. So I'm going to set up a new page, and uh, and uh, I'm going to just kind of get a sales page here, and I'm going to pick a template that I would actually use. So let's say that I would probably do a video sales letter. And I'm going to call this product launch workshop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish this so that I will have an address. I'm going to grab this link. And then I'm going to put this inside of Warrior Plus. Okay, we are not doing a WSO, so we're not going to need this WSO post, right? We're not posting this on the Warrior Forum. If you have a, a, a logo for your business, you're going to put that in this vendor image area, right? That's where you're going to put that. Um, if you're going to have a pre-launch, so in other words, um, let's say that what you want to do is you want to have a webinar before your product launches. You want to let people come to the page or you want to collect leads before they actually, uh, before you actually open up the product for sale. Well, this is where you would do a pre-launch, right? So you would either do uh, a, a Warrior Plus hosted pre-launch or a simple redirect. I tend not to do these. Right, but if you want to do well, do one, this is where you would indicate um, the pre-launch. And what happens is that at the at the right time, right at the time of your launch, the 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 page redirects to your sales page. Up until the launch, it goes to the landing page or it goes to the webinar page. Okay, um, if you are going to have affiliates, and hopefully you will, um, you're going to put in the uh, you're going to turn this on. Um, is there an advantage to doing one, Chantel? Yes, there is. Um, let's say that you know you think it's it's typical whether it's big ticket or even if it's a smaller ticket that if you uh, if you you have a pre-launch webinar and you show people how they're going to benefit from it, then you can actually have you're probably going to have more sales. Right, you probably can have more sales. The benefit also of having a pre-launch is that you know if you have affiliates, you can probably convert more of your affiliates traffic through a webinar. The other thing is that let's say you decide not to do a webinar, what you decide to do is you decide to have a uh, an opt-in page during pre-launch. And let's say that your affiliates are going to be sending you traffic before the actual launch then number one, what you get to do is collect those leads. Number two, the affiliates actually get cookied, and then you and the affiliate actually get a win-win situation because the affiliate's going to actually get, some, get, uh, get their people to um, a page where they're going to see what the, the, uh, the, the, the product is about, um, and then you are actually going to get the lead, and uh, you're going to get the lead regardless of whether or not they buy or not. So that's another good reason why you could or you might want to think about doing a pre-launch. So there's some good reasons why you might do one. I have just tended not to do them, um, mainly because um, I, I haven't really figured out um, the right kind of webinar I'd like to do for a PLR product. I am going to test that this year, but I have not done that. Right, but there there's a definite advantage to doing it. And and the higher ticket uh, of the the higher the ticket the product. The, uh, the 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 better your webinar is going to do. Okay, great question. So Chantel asks, can they purchase during pre-launch? No, they cannot purchase during pre-launch. So all they can do is uh, all they can do is see what's on your pre-launch page. So you could show them you could show them what the product is going to be about. You could do a demo. Yeah, so it's just information. So let's say that you're selling software, right? And so and so, 
if, if you want to show people a demo in order to get them excited so that when you actually launch the product, you don't have to have them reading um, your copy and trying to, uh, trying to watch a demo and then make a decision to buy. Um, bringing people to a demo page is a good way to sell software because um, they get to see that software so that when the gates or the doors actually open to the product, all they have to do is come and buy. They already come, they're already excited, they're already pre-sold. So yes, you're right, it's just information. Right, yeah, so what you're trying to do is warm them up. And you can do that for anything. I, I just use the software, but um, uh, you could you could warm them up for a product. You could you could do um, you could do a two or three minute video saying, "Hey, here's everything that's in it. Um, here's how I would use it. Um, here is uh, here are some testimonials. That kind of stuff. I mean, it, it shouldn't be long, but you can actually do a good uh, a, a good a good pre launch page. It'll get people warm to the product. So when you actually launch it or they get sent there by the affiliate, or they get sent there by you and your email, then they're going to be more likely to convert. Okay, all right, so, uh, so affiliate information, um, this is where what you're going to do is you're, you're going to give your affiliates um, some information about the product, and you're also going to tell the affiliates that who will be, that will be applying kind of what you're looking for. So one of the things I like to put in here is that um, I'll write, and this is just what I write in here, um, you're going to say um, something like, um, you know, affiliates need to have more than, uh, more than 100 sales. I will also put in here something like I prefer to work with experienced vendors that sell PLR. And then I'll say, you know, if we don't know each other, please reach out to me on Facebook or Skype. And you know what, I know sometimes I might be missing out on some affiliates who could, uh, who could probably do a good promotion. But quite honestly, I do want to know the people who are going to be promoting my product because um, I don't want them misrepresenting it. I don't want them bringing people who don't understand PLR. Um, and if you might have certain affiliates that you want to promote. You might have certain affiliates you don't want to promote. And so I want them to, at minimum, reach out to me on Facebook if I don't know them because I want to see their profile. Right? That might be a little obsessive. It might be over the top. It's just what I like. I'll tell you one reason why you want to think about that is because, you know, if you have an affiliate that you don't know and you have an affiliate that's either sending fraud traffic or even if they send traffic and they totally misrepresented your product. And so then the person actually gets the product, they, uh, they get to the download page and they get it, here's what they say. They say, you know what, I thought this was going to be something else, right? And sometimes that's because the affiliate didn't know how to promote it, but they knew how to make sales. So number one, um, you have control over who applies here, and, and you, and, and, and you want to write this message in here because um, you can end up, I'll show you why. I'll show you why, why you want to. I'll, I'll just be for real with you, right? Um, you're going to have, you can have an affiliate uh, request list that looks like this. Right, and, and I, I don't know any of these people, right? And, and none of these folks have reached out to me on Facebook the way I asked them to. And I mean, yeah, I mean, granted, um, I, could, I could approve them, maybe they could make sales, but if, 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 if I don't know them and, and, they, and they didn't take the time to reach out to me, I, I just don't really feel like I have to have them as affiliates. Right, does that make sense? So if you get that, please put the number two in the question box. Right, so, so, so again, I have nothing against anybody who's on this list. Um, my, my, my feeling is just, at, at minimum, you do, you do, I really do want you to reach out to me, right, and, and, and talk to me if I don't know you. Okay.
Uh, let's go back here. Okay, now your JV page URL, right? Um, and this is another thing that um, you, 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 you sort of do want to have, right? You do want to have your own JV page. Um, this year, I did something a little different, and I created my own JV blog. Right, and so all my JV blog is is it is a um, it is a a website that is a JV it's jvwithcharles.net, right? And um and and this I I, I mean it, the name is just kind of kind of corny, right? But it is it is my JV page, and so what I do with this is I make sure that this is where people can find all the information about any upcoming launch I'm going to be doing, right? And so, and so I put all of the JV information on this site. And each individual launch, I have a different JV page. So, for example, well, I won't go and show you all those pages, but every launch is going to have a different, uh, a different page. Now, one thing that I do with this JV blog is this. And, and most of you already know who, uh, who, use, uh, who use WordPress. You know this, but I'm going to show you this anyway. So if you go to, into the settings and you go into reading, you can determine what your front page is going to be. So every time I start a new launch, I put that new JV page as my front page. Right, so whatever my next, whenever my next launch is, it's going to be the front page of jvwithcharles.net. And I think you know, so, someone someone showed me that jvwithcharles.com is available, um, you know, uh, for auction. Maybe I'll get that. But does everybody make sense? Does that make sense? So all I'm doing, I have a, it, all all my JV pages, my JV blog is just a WordPress site. Right, it's just a WordPress site. So, uh, and, and, and because I use uh, Optimized Press, those of you who use InstaBuilder, um, you're just going to put your JV, your, uh, your page builder on there, and just build a simple little JV page. Right, yeah, yeah, because what, what, you're, what you're doing, Dana, is um, some people are not going to remember um, what your individual page is going to be, and, and uh, they will remember your... Uh, your, UR, your URL eventually. <laughs> they may not um, at the beginning. Um, they'll still come and ask you, but at the very, very least, you're going to make it easier for affiliates to find you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take my JV page. I'm going to put that inside of there. Right. Okay. So now um, you are. They're going to ask you for your affiliates update list. You you, you do want to do this, right? You you definitely do want to do this. Um, everybody who's going to be promoting your product, you want to be able to keep in touch with them. And so the way you do that um, inside of Warrior Plus is they're going to ask you to connect a certain a certain autoresponder. Now I keep track of all that through Get Response. Right, so I've got certain lists, and so with this, this is my this is my list for JVs. Right, so anybody that becomes part of this list, they can actually do that through any anybody that requests this um, this offer, they automatically get added to my JV list. Does that make sense? Okay, so everybody again, everybody who requests to promote this offer. They get added to my JV list, and I want them. Now, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with these folks. I'm not gonna email them, and that's really the the only reason why I keep this in, let's say, Get Response, because I don't want to accidentally um, email them through a Weber, right? So, so I, I that is why I do that. So, so again, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save this. And the, the way you're going to do this is um, inside of your, let's go inside of Warrior Plus for a second. Uh, uh, inside your account settings. 
uh, you are going to have this section called integrations, right, integrations. And uh, I might have to pull this off screen. I want to make sure I don't uh, put anything sensitive up here. So let's see if I can just do this. Okay. So in order to connect your autoresponder so that it works automatically, you're going to have to go to your new service. Does everybody see all the autoresponders there? So you can add any of those autoresponders to, uh, to Warrior Plus so that they work automatically. And whenever your, uh, whenever your JVs um, request your offer, they get added to the list. Right? And you have to do that, though, through this integration page. So the reason that works is because I have GetResponse set up through my integration page. And you can actually see that here. All right, let's close this out. Okay, so no pre-launch. Um, this, um, the affiliate program accelerator, um, I have not done that. Um, I have not done that. I, I don't know anybody who has. I'll tell you what this does. Uh, no, let's see. That's not what we want. Uh, okay, so this says Warrior Plus will promote your affiliate program uh, via email, ads, etc. Okay, so they make 15% on the sales that are made by these referrals. Right, so in other words, what they do is they go look for JVs for you. Right, excuse me. And if you decide and you and you uh, and you prove those JVs, then Warrior Plus is going to take 15% of every sale. Right, does that make sense? Okay, so this is something that maybe if you don't have a lot of affiliates to get started, and you actually put one up there, um, and then you approve, yeah, they're a little bit like an agent. Right, so one of the reasons why I like um, Warrior Plus is that there are a few more tools available to you if if you are kind of just getting started. Right, uh, JVZoo is a great network. It has great tools. Um, um, the, the only um, disadvantage to JVZoo is that um, you have to have an existing network before you get there. In other words, you have to already have affiliates. Uh, uh, with Warrior Plus, there is a possibility that a, 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 um, a JV could find you. Right? Even if they don't know you, they could actually find you here on Warrior Plus. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Create. All right, so now um, our offer is active. So now we have an active offer. So what we need to do now is we need to uh, create a product. Right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to click Add a Product. And we're going to click Add New Product. Okay, so details. Um, you can add in a product that's going to be um, uh, buy now. You can add in a subscription product. Um, I think that to add a free product, um, I think you have to have a certain kind of account. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Dana, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if everybody can add a free product. Um, but I think I think that you can. I, I, someone will have to test this part of it because I'm not really sure if you're brand new. If you right, that's right. Only the original people who were part of this at the beginning. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Dana. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to call this. Uh, we're going to name our product. Product launch workshop live. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to be selling this, um, but uh, I'm just going to uh, do this as an example. So this title is going to show up to you and to your customer. It's also going to show up on their receipt. Right? Okay, now, <clears throat> important thing here. Um, how are you going to deliver your product? Now, you don't have to make a decision about that right now, but you are going to have to make that decision. 
right? And so uh, probably the easiest thing to do would be to send people to a thank you page where you can go back and add to it later. Right. If you if you choose to do a file, I don't I don't like files because um, you still got to deliver a PDF or something like that, and it can only be a hundred megabytes. And you could very easily go through a hundred megabytes. Now, if you have something small, and all you're delivering is going to be a PDF, I can I can see that. Right. Maybe you do want to just deliver just the file. But the the other thing that you know delivering a thank you page allows you to do is it allows you to do, why would, why would I want to send people to a thank you page? Let me, let me ask you guys. Why do you think that I would want to uh, deliver people to a thank you page? Right, exactly, Chantel, because I can put in um, everything else that I have on there. Right? Maybe they don't know what else I have. Maybe they don't know all of my other products. And so it's my opportunity to actually put in all of my other products. I'll tell you another reason why, and um, it, is, it, is, it is not something that I have done yet. Um, I hope to be able to do it of my upcoming launch. I don't know if I'm going to have time to. Um, I read, I, I've been reading a book called uh, The Experience, and it's about Walt Disney. And it's about all the things that Disney does in order to make um, their customer service, uh, they, they've, they, they've apparently kind of, um, uh, they their customer service is so far above everybody else's that um, it's it's widely known. So it's it's a, it's a fact that their customer service is far above everybody else's. And so one of the things that they do is they they try to make sure that there is something personal at every stage. And so another another thing that you can do on your thank you page is you can autoplay a video, right? So in other words, people people the first interaction is the most important one. The first interaction that you have with people needs to be personal if you can make it. And so you can do that on the thank you page. If they click to the thank you page, and you want to play a video that just says, hey, you know what, I just want to welcome you and thank you for buying the product launch workshop live. My name is, you know, Chantel Sweeney. My name is Dana Castle. And I just want to let you know, hey, we've got good stuff for you on the inside. If you have any questions, reach out to me. And so, and so that's another good reason why you want to have a thank you page, okay? So that makes sense, everybody. So again, I, again, um, if if I said that to you at this point, I would be saying, do as I say and not as I do. I haven't done it yet. I've done it sometimes in the past. I'd like to be able to do more of that. Okay, so uh, delivery URL. So let's go ahead and let's do a thank you page. And I'm going to do that inside of the PLR show. Uh, I'm going to create a page. And uh, I'm just going to use one of these templates. And then I'm going to say, thanks for buying product launch workshop live. Okay, now th there's there's one important aspect of this part of it um, that uh, I, I do want to tell you about. Uh, I'm, I need to kind of look this up for a second here. Now, this page is going to be open to the search engines, right? If, unless you try, unless you hide it, and so you don't want your thank you page to be uh, viewed by everybody, right? You want it to be hidden. Now, there's a way to do that inside of Optimized Press. Um, if you have another page builder, there's probably going to be a certain way for you to be able to do this. I'll show you how to do this in Optimize Press. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go here into other scripts. I'm going to add here in the I'm going to add here in the header area a no follow tag. I'm also going to add here a no cash tag. So basically, um, these two these two phrases are going to discourage Google from following this page. It's also going to discourage Google from caching this page, right? So what this means then is that my page is going to remain hidden from the search engines. Now you're just going to want to go test this. Um, before you launch, 
but basically when you set up that page and you publish it you want to make sure you've done something inside of your own page builder to make sure that that page stays hidden from the search engine right because nobody needs to see your thank you page it doesn't even matter if anybody if you're not delivering the product yet because we're not going to deliver the product on this page right we, we just want to have a page that either tells people what they're going to need to do or you know or we might deliver it on, on this page who knows you know we haven't gotten to that point yet so uh, so I'm gonna go here and uh, we're gonna save this I am gonna take out the header I mean we don't have to do that but we'll take that out All right, so I'm going to grab that link. I will come back and edit that page. Uh, because right now we want to keep working on our sales funnel. Okay, I'm going to put that delivery URL in that box. Okay, I'm going to decide on what my um, refund uh, period is. Okay, if it's going to be 30 days. Um, in general, um, uh, if, if you are selling a PLR, the standard is, right, the standard is that if you're going to sell, if you're going to sell an information product, you should probably do 30 days. If you're going to do PLR, you may want to either consider a refund where you either give people another product um, or something, right? I'm just telling you what the industry standard is. All right, now, content type. We already did this. Right, but um, we're going to say this is going to be video, it's going to be audio, and it's going to be media files. Now, this you're not limited. You can put everything in here that applies. So if you have a membership, you can put all that in there. All right, now, keyword, category. All right, category. I'm going to use those same categories we used before. I can't remember what they were. <laughs> uh, uh, coaching, JV launch management, and uh, I can't remember what the third one was. What was the third one? Uh, okay, we won't. Uh, we'll say it was. Say it was other. Okay, so keywords, um, we're going to use those same keywords for this product, product creation, product launch, and uh, let's see, um, oh, that's actually spelled wrong. You have to be careful with these things too, product launch, because uh, just about every misspelling that somebody had in here, it's, it's actually in here. So. Um, you want to make sure you get the right one, All right? I'm going to go get that same product image. Now, let's say that I'm going to be doing a limited edition, right? And so only, uh, let's say only 50 people can buy this. I would limit that. And what happens then is that Warrior Plus cuts off the sales at a certain point, right? So I could do that if I wanted to. Typically, I'm not, but I could. Um, I do want to actually show you uh, this uh, about about the keywords, right? Let's let's take a look at that here. Let's see if I can find this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of my favorites and alerts. These are my keyword alerts, right? So anything that comes that's uh, offline, anything that comes that's PLR, anything that comes that's resale, anything that comes that's video, anything that comes that's WordPress, anything that comes that's YouTube, I get a notice about it in my email. Right? So everybody who's on Warrior Plus can do this. And so this is why, in some cases, even if you don't have any traffic before, if you were new, 
Yes, and, and actually everybody sets this up, Chantel, and th th here's why this is important. Let's say that you have no affiliates, let's say that you have no traffic, but you launch your product on Warrior Plus. Plus, if your product has resell, right, or it has video as one of the keywords, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it in my email. So you're going to get traffic from me just because your offer is going to hit my email box even if even if you and I didn't know each other right and so and so that's another thing that warrior plus does that actually if you are if you are totally new you can still get traffic to your offer right yes so so i set mine up chantel um everybody sets theirs up to get all of the products that are related to this one so in fact I actually uh, stopped getting mobile, right? So I, I could I could probably delete this. I can delete the one for mobile, right? And I can add a new alert, right? Maybe I want to get everything that is private label rights. right? So now I'm going to get everything that somebody else puts in there that's called private label rights. And so that's why your keywords are so important. Right? So you want to try to start thinking about, well, what would somebody type if they want to get all the information on a certain topic and they want to get offers on that? Right? Um, and you can see that offline, the last alert that came out was 7.3. Right, the last alert for resale was seven three. So actually, if uh, I probably got something in my email box that had the word resale in it, the last time somebody launched a product on WordPress, ten fifteen a.m. So if you have something on WordPress, right, I would have gotten your product launch notification. Okay. Okay, support email. Um, you 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 want here. Here's where I, I would suggest that, um, that there are two ways to go with support, right? The two ways to go with support. Um, you can actually build a support desk through uh, through your uh, through your C panel, right? You can do something called OS ticket. Uh, I would suggest that you use something like either Freshdesk or Zendesk. I mean, there are plenty of them out there. Um, we use Zendesk, and the reason that we use Zendesk is because it makes it easier for me to track anything that anyone is doing. It makes it easier for uh, for me to act for to, it actually makes it easier for me to uh, to to have Sydney do um, most of that all the support and then if I have to come in if she has to assign something to me she can do that right if she has to say well, well can you answer this one right I can do that in Zendesk um, it's hard to do if if you have one that is in um, your uh, your your C panel. The other thing is that um, email deliverability um, is is tricky when you're using things on your server, um, unless you're 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 uh, you, you've got to really know how to set up something called SMTP. And uh, I'm not going to do that during this uh, dur during this uh, during this this workshop. But um, if you know how to do SMTP, which is a way for you to be able to make sure your emails get delivered then I think that using your server is fine. But otherwise, then uh, I do recommend something like Zendesk or Freshdesk. And I think it's about $10 a month. Okay, any questions? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my support email address in here. I'm going to put my support URL in here. Okay, you're going to select your PayPal account here or Stripe. Right? So either way, um, you can use 
whichever one uh, you want to use in order to get paid on Warrior Plus. Right? If you if you rather use Stripe, if you can use Stripe. If you rather use PayPal, you can use PayPal. Again, um, I don't I don't think there's any particular advantage to either one. Um, I use PayPal, but I'm not a, I'm not averse to using Stripe. Right? Okay, so um, it seems about 9:27. I'm thinking um, you all might be on overload. <laughs> um, uh, so, so, so why don't we, why don't we stop here, and we will pick it up next week in terms of getting this product set up. All right? Any other questions? Okay, is everybody confident that you could follow what I've done so far? Okay, good, good. So, so you can follow pretty much what I've done so far. And, and again, um, launching on Warrior Plus, if you, if you haven't gotten started at all inside of this niche, now again, Warrior Plus is definitely the make money online niche, right? It's definitely that. But if you're going to get started in this niche and you don't have uh, connections yet, you don't have JVs yet, you don't have partners yet, Warrior Plus can get you some sales uh, provided you get the right offer in front of people. Okay, everybody, well, this is week one of, the, uh, of our workshop. What we're going to do is we're going to get you set up to launch your product. Um, we're going to get you launching on Warrior Plus. And uh, so by the time the four weeks is over, um, you are going to have your product set up and ready to go. And uh, so what you can be doing right during uh, during these four weeks is you can be uh, putting your product together right you can be getting your copy together and so and so once the four weeks are over then all you've got to do is follow this course to get it set up and ready to sell okay everybody well thank you very much uh, this evening I appreciate you all being here have a great night and a pleasant tomorrow take care